Roblox Islands 2. How to build insane structures. Top 10 best islands. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Roblox Thrasher. Here are the top 10 best islands in Roblox Islands 2. Number 1, Lord Lee Top. This is a huge castle come forest island. The garden leading up to the castle is intricately designed with many different colors that makes it more inviting. There's a guard covering the entrance constantly, which makes the game more challenging. A gigantic dragon is attacking the castle with fire that makes it look more realistic. The dragon itself is enormous and you can walk on its back. It's very simple and theatric. Keep, just keep like farming out here until you get like about a thousand. Number two, Lolo Ushi. This one is a huge fort with tall towers. The theme of this castle is symmetrical patterns with ample details with making fantasies look real. There's a lot of outside space with bushes lined against the wall, adding more color to the set. The flag designs are also really and add a special touch to the set. Play scene number 14. Number three, River Dragon 2 on one. This one is really cool and here's why. It takes a unique tactic in which everything is building is enormous in size, so your avatar will appear as a miniature character. Everything is upscale, hence it can be both jarring and interesting depending on your taste. You'll feel like an ant as you explore the forest and find yourself looking tinier than the bushes. There are a lot of captivating designs aspects in this build. For example, there's a beautiful lava design, a beehive in which you can climb, and a huge blue jay sitting there adding aesthetical value to the visuals. Number 4, Twice Configue. The build probably has the most detailed design and you need to explore it thoroughly to get the full gist of it. What makes it stand out is its very extensive design as there are 5 to 6 places attached together with pass. It's unbelievable how detailed the design is considering it probably took ages to finish. The outside of the build has very Roman-esque vibes to it, like a grand church or something like that adds the majestic value. The rooftops are also unique as ample green has been used on the roof, and the coppers also add to the beauty of everything. The floor almost gave a feeling of snow in it, which almost makes this build quite festive. Number 5, Ego underscore Ism. The build has the coolest vibes. It's like a lighthouse dock that probably could belong to a pirate that adds a unique cool touch to it. The entire set seems to be next to the water with rustic touches of blues, sand brown, and dark gray. There are tall lighthouses that intensify the aura and make the place look like it has some sort of story. Another cool thing about the build is the use of iron, which adds to the touch of reality. There is also a huge bird hovering over the scene to add more drama. Like if you did a straight shot out of the gate here, it just goes straight to the mountain in the back. So see, this is your portal that usually- Number six, Mantis King 12. This build is really special because it's in the form of a dense jungle, and it's something you won't see very commonly in the game. And even though trees are not unusual when building designs, the build has game-changing structures. There are mushroom blocks everywhere, which adds more color to the set and allows more space for you to go and explore. You can climb to the top trees as well and enter no entry zone, which adds to the factor of a thrill. There are boards placed in different areas that basically tell you to go back, adding so much value to the entire theme. It goes from being a sweet little forest to something dark and twisty very quickly. Rotate depending on when you farm. So see how I'm just farming this one? This is probably gonna- Number seven, Mr. Mashed Potato Head. If you're going for a game to entice you, then this is the build for you. The color palette is gorgeous with a mix of grays, grins, maple, and non-maple. The stairs leading to the bridges are well designed, and the entire build is dense with amazing detail. When you're done exploring the downsides, make sure you climb all the way up for the sightseeing the view because it is absolutely breathtaking. Every building has ample details and the design is very consistent throughout. Hi. There's just so much here, but you can see like even just those little clouds there. Really, really well done. And then here's a night shot here you can see. Number eight, Void GD. This one is probably the best looking structure in the game as it is a cathedral that's been designed to perfection with many details being taken care of. The color palette is absolutely gorgeous with the blues, grays, greens, and goldens. The only reason it falls short is that the maker ran out of the bricks, which is a limitation set by the game. So while outside the architecture is remarkable, the insides are void. Great. So again, congrats Void GD for making top. Number nine, the Axi. This is another castle on the island, but what comes out is really it stands out in the fact that it is so virtually aesthetic. The castle looks like it has come straight out of a Disney movie, especially with the clever choices of color. The place has a beautiful garden and also swimming pools, which we see is not very common. And it is not just castle building itself, but also the tiny details such as the chandeliers and the carpets. It's all exceptional. One. So congrats again to DX for reaching top five. Number 10, Zack Iden. If you're looking for a sci-fi themed island, then this is the one for you. Let's first talk about the color theme that stands out for its consistency. From black and yellows, the place looks dazzling. There are shops and two level galleries. It's so extensive that there is also a casino. The structure is so complicated that when you go to the top, it's a greenhouse, but if you jump out from there, you'll end up in some sort of storage room. This game is definitely one to explore. 
These structures are intense and require you to pull out adventurous spirit to have maximum fun as you traverse down the lanes and up the bridges. Looking storage area, we're gonna find stack chests. So congrats. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.